What's up guys? Today I'm filming a video. Please subscribe, we're trying to get to 4K. Also check out my other videos. They're always linked in the iCard and always in playlists and free for you to watch. Also, um, check out my Instagrams. We're always linked down below. Kimono stories and faded porids. Um, like my pictures, comment them, all that good stuff. And turn on your post vacations. And yeah, today we're going to be going to a corn maze. And I've already filmed this vlog, filmed this intro, like, three times here at the corn maze thing and i can't tell if i want to take off my sweater or not because it's like in the mixture of hot and cold we were in a weird parking for two seconds because there's cars parked out there but there the car almost got stuck in the ditch because of that so dyeing my hair but these last few ones I haven't really been liking I dye my hair black blue um black indigo if we're trying to be technical here and I didn't like it and my hair is still extremely dark from that and then I dyed it a copper color but you can't even tell because my hair is extremely dark and um it's like one of those like things that you see in the light i guess but i do sometimes see it in the light but it's really hard to tell it's turquoise and i'm gonna try not to use the whole thing because my mom wanted to use a little bit of it but the thing is i have a lot of hair that i'm gonna be coating so it's gonna be hard this is the result of a braid out this is what my hair always looks like when i take it out in a braid this is what it looks like it looks like it just I crimped it or something yesterday while we were at the corn maze um it was really fun but the prize was candy and I was kind of aggravated because I really didn't want any more candy to be honest with you the only reason why is because we have so much candy at the house and when I realized that because someone told us um this lady that was doing it by herself was like um the prize is candy and i just immediately started getting unmotivated but it was fun there's a lot of nice families talking to us we went on a hayride and the thing is it was literally a two second hayride because the hayride was to a pumpkin patch and the ride was literally like a minute and it was so annoying because i thought it was gonna be longer but it, all you do is they drive you to this pumpkin patch, which I showed, and then um, you go you pick out your pumpkins for a little bit, then you go back to the hay thing or the other ride, and then um, they take you back to the main place. It was kind of a waste of time, but we didn't know that it only takes you like literally nowhere in the morning i woke up at 12 and because i was hearing a lot of commotion outside and um it was a lot of dogs howling all at once and it was loud normally i hear it but it's like not super loud but it feels like it was a whole neighborhood dogs just howling all at once so i looked it up and i was like what does this mean like is something bad gonna happen to us or something and it's um, apparently it means um, it's a sign of sadness and loneliness and they're just expressing their feelings by howling I was gonna have like so much to talk about but I don't but we went to um, we were gonna go on this other ride over there but I realized that it, the ride that they were on kicked up a lot of like dirt and stuff and I was like not about to risk that getting into my hair 
for my pores in the line for the hayride for at least 20 minutes it felt like but there was a bunch of bees there like there was a bunch of bees attacking us and there's a bunch of bees attacking people in line my brother didn't want to go with us because his girlfriend said it's lame so he was like basically like i don't even want to go because tori said it's lame so he didn't go my mom was a little upset about it but i wasn't shocked because he never wants to go anywhere with us we went to michael's yesterday because my mom wanted these crows that she wanted to use as a decoration and they didn't have them there they literally didn't really have any like anything over there for decorations for fall and it was really annoying but i picked up some things for my friend because we decided that her and i were going to be doing exchanging gifts for christmas and you know i already failed at that last year i'm gonna do a haul but then i realized that she watches my videos so i can't really do that the thing is i need to buy things for her son too because i don't really i don't really know what babies like anymore like people get ipads for the two-year-olds now did a homemade gifts a couple years ago for my friend in high school right so it was like a, a christmas themed sugar scrub it was like red and green and i made it for my grandma and my aunt i think two of my aunts because if i just gave it to one one's gonna get jealous so i think i made it for all three of them and then i made it for my three friends and then i made it for my math teacher so i was all excited because you know we spent a lot of time on those scrubs and dyeing them and whatever i was excited because i like self-care stuff i like taking care of myself you know the school and i gave my friends that blow this up you know this looks cool to smash because it was in a ma mason jar and it was in those mason jars we didn't really care about so my other friends were like eh, you know and then my math teacher was like thanks but she was also weirded out by it too who gets weirded out by sugar scrub and none of them used it like my friend the closest friend that i had from the group used it but like a lot later like rude about it so i was like you know what i'm never gonna make anyone like i literally said this i came home really upset because we spent so much time on those scrubs and we could have easily sell sold them to people that actually would care about it and because i don't think anyone really used the scrubs it's bitter for a long time about it and i think that's why i have a hard time doing it because people don't appreciate homemade gifts and i can't be spending all this time on these things if you're not going to appreciate it and i literally just don't think people got it i think because i never explained it to people because they probably were just like she's just forgetful you know and they just let it fly but i'm forgetful yes but it's also that's the reason because people don't appreciate things like that like if someone made me something homemade i would appreciate it a lot because you know it's from their heart but people just want ipads and the iphone 11 now it just doesn't just doesn't seem to matter like homemade gifts are like underrated now because people don't really care about those but i'm more a hands-on person i like doing things that you can tell like i have a hard time showing that i care about people i've always been like that i'm you know i'm still working on that but it's just hard because it's just like i don't really know i'm just scared to give it to the wrong people um this is the aftermath of the hair you can't even tell that i dyed it but um it took me a very 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 long time to get it all out to be honest with you it took probably like 20 30 minutes to get all of the dye out but you can't even tell that i dyed it even if i like focused it right um i feel like in the light you'll be able to tell but it's just it's annoying because i wish you can just tell just by looking at it like this but it's one of those dyes that you probably have to see in a certain lighting but if you enjoyed please give it a like comment your thoughts on the video subscribe if you haven't 
check out my other videos like them comment them if you haven't already pretty chill and nothing crazy really happened but i had fun yesterday so yeah um see you in my next video